as world's third biggest democracy, Indonesia is all set to go to the polls on 17th April. Presidential candidate Joko Widodo and Prabowo Subianto are ready to encounter each other yet again to win the tough battle of 2019 election. While Jokowo is known as a communist, Prabowo has been labelled radical in his ideology. Both candidates have a long political history. Joko Widodo was the first Indonesian president to come from outside the political or military establishment. If he wins, it would be his second term as a president of Indonesia. Born in 1961 to a humble family in the Indonesian city of Solo on Java Island, Widodo developed a successful furniture business before moving into regional politics. His rags to riches story and a common man approach have made him popular with many Indonesians and he's seen as having a clean can-do image that has catapulted him from small town mayor to governor of the capital within two years. In 2014, after two years in office as Jakarta's governor, he was nominated as the presidential candidate to run for the election. Vidudo and running mate Yusuf Kala, a popular former vice president, narrowly won the closely fought election. This was the first time Indonesia witnessed a directly elected president hand over power to another. During Vidudo's first year in office, he hosted a high-level Asian African conference where leaders from the two continents gathered in Jakarta to mark the 60th anniversary of the establishment. But Vidudo's first major test on the global stage came when he refused to grant clemency to foreign drug convicts, drawing strong international criticism from Australia to Brazil. Vidudo took office promising to boost annual economic growth to 7%, and with an ambitious plan to build $350 billion worth of infrastructure across the poorly connected archipelago. However, annual growth has remained around 5% in recent years. Despite stumbling progress, Vidodo still remained popular in part because of his focus such as New Guinea and other remote islands as well as his achievement in narrowing the income gap. On the other hand, his challenge is 67-year-old retired general Prabhavo Subianto, who is campaigning for strong economy in the country, was born into an elite family. Prabhavo's father, Sumitro Jojo Hadi Kusumo, was one of the country's most respected economic planners in former President Suharto's cabinet. Prabhavo entered the Indonesian military in 1970. It was his this stellar military career during which he rose through the ranks with remarkable speed. In 1988, he was discharged for misinterpreting orders in the abduction of anti-Suharto activists and was accused of instigating riots that killed hundreds of people just before Suharto's downfall. Dismissed from the army soon after, shunned by the Jakarta elite and in self-exile in Jordan for some years, Prabowo became one of Indonesia's most revealed men. In just over a decade, he became a successful businessman and the popular head of a political party. He was defeated by Susilo Bangbang Yudhoyono. In 2014, the former general ran for president, though losing to Joko Widodo by 6%. This year, he's trying his presidential candidate luck for a second time, with an ex-vice governor, Sadiaga Uno, as his running mate. But analysts say Prabowo has missed crucial opportunities during debates aired nationwide and has struggled to land any big blows against Widodo, who has appeared workmanlike in projecting his achievements in areas such as infrastructure while in office. But whether it would be Joko Widodo or Prabowo Subianto, the choice made by 192 million Indonesians will be known soon.